Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about five reasons to work with an attorney when incorporating your business. We've already done a blog article on the subject, so if you want a little more detail, you can go to learn-about-law.com and check out that article. So there's five main reasons to work with an attorney when incorporating your business. One is to ensure that you're selecting the most advantageous corporate form. So you've got a lot of options as a business owner. You can be a, a corporation, you can be an LLC, you can be a limited liability partnership, you can be a limited partnership. There's a lot of different options for you. And sometimes it doesn't even make sense to incorporate for some people. So it's important to talk to an attorney to make sure that uh, you're, you're picking the form that's the most cost effective for what your goals are. Um, the filing fees for LOCs and corporations on the Secretary of State le level can be very different on both an initial and an annual basis. So you want to make sure that uh, if all, th all, all other things are equal, you're picking the, uh, the corporate formation entity uh, with the lowest filing fees possible. But the, the, the different entities do different things for business owners, and you don't want to just Google that. The attorneys can counsel you on what the best corporate form for you is and what the cheapest way to get things done are. And, and usually paying the attorney fee to get that advice will actually save you more in the long run if you're otherwise not going to be getting the most cost-effective corporate entity. Uh, the, second is to, uh, the second reason to work with an attorney is to make sure that corporate formalities are maintained. This is a big mistake that I see a lot of business owners make when they just go on the Secretary of State's website and file their uh, articles of incorporation or articles of organization if you're an LLC and think they're done. Um, that's just registering with the Secretary of State. But both for a corporation and for an LLC, there's a lot of other paperwork that you need to have in your corporate book in order to make your corporation actually do what you want it to do. So one of the big reasons that people incorporate is liability protection. If you don't have initial meeting minutes of shareholders, annual meeting minutes, if you don't have bylaws, if you don't have an operating agreement, if you're an, uh, if you're an LLC, uh, if you ever get sued, uh, the first thing that the attorney suing your corporation is going to do is try to uh, impute personal liability onto you as a shareholder for your corporate debts. And as long as you follow corporate formalities, they won't be able to do this. That's the whole purpose of a corporation. But they'll ask in your deposition if you're sued, let me see your corporate book. And if you don't have a, an up-to-date corporate book with meeting minutes in it, stock certificates that have been issued and bylaws and all the other paperwork other than the articles of incorporation that need to be filed in order to maintain uh, your corporate formalities, then the attorney that is, is uh, representing the person suing you is going to be able to do something called pierce the corporate veil and say that you're basically uh, running a sham corporation, it's just a shell, and by piercing the corporate veil, they get through the corporate form and get liability directly to you. So uh, a lot of times people pay the Secretary of State the filing fees for a corporation, but not do the other things that they need to do to maintain their corporation. And when they do that, they're just throwing their money away because the corporation's not going to be as good as the paper is right now. So an attorney will make sure that you both initially and annually follow the corporate formalities they need to follow uh, in order to keep your liability defense. And the same applies to self-employment tax savings. So we've done a previous video blog, um, podcast, and an article about the benefits of incorporating, which you should check out if you'd like. One of the benefits is saving on self-employment tax. If you're uh, a corporation or an LLC, you pay less in self-employment tax than you would otherwise if you're just a sole proprietor. But if you're audited by the IRS and you haven't been following corporate formalities, they may ask you to pay back those self-employment tax savings. So working with an attorney is really important to make sure that corporate formalities are maintained. Also, uh, a, a good attorney will make sure that you're registered with the proper, proper government agencies. So depending on whether or not you have employees, there's a whole slew of government agencies that your business needs to register with. You may need to get a business license uh, at the local municipal level. You need to get an EIN number from the IRS. You need to register sometimes, depending on if you have employees, with uh, the state to get a state tax ID number, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, and there's a, there's a whole list of places that you need to register your business. And part of what an attorney will do for you is take care of that registration for you so that you can worry about getting your business off the ground and not spend hours trying and hoping that you've registered wherever you need to register. Um, the, the fourth 
reason to work with an attorney is an attorney can advise you on uh, setting up your corporation in a way that's tax advantageous to you. And this can save you a lot of money. So we talked about self-employment tax savings, but in order to do so, you need to file, in order to receive those self-employment tax savings, you need to file an S-Corp election with the IRS. It's not just good enough to incorporate. You need to be uh, filing the necessary paperwork with the IRS to realize those self-employment tax benefits and other tax benefits of being a corporation. And an attorney will help you get those uh, forms filed and cut through some of the red tape to make sure that you're actually saving the money you should be saving by incorporating. And again, the cost of using an attorney is pretty low. Um, it's, it's pretty easy for us as attorneys to get this done, but the amount you're saving on, on filing fees uh, for the, if you have an improper corporate form or uh, self-employment tax savings if you don't follow the proper uh, tax steps to, to reap those savings is, is pretty large. So it's certainly economical to work with an attorney. The last reason, uh, number five, to work with an attorney when incorporating is incorporating is the first step in, in your business's journey and throughout that journey there's going to be a lot of situations where you need to rely on the advice of your attorney and if you work with an attorney at the incorporation stage it allows you to build that relationship at the outset and have somebody that you can just call up with questions um, if you've never worked with an attorney before and an employee uh, leaves and claims you're discriminating against them or uh, you've got a question about an employee being terminated and unemployment insurance, you won't have that pre-existing relationship where you can just call up your attorney, ask the question, and probably not even get billed for it if the attorney knows uh, off the top of their head what the answer is. Um, the, the other things that you have to worry about, we've done a, uh, an episode about the 11 situations in which you should consult your business attorney. Check that out. Um, it, it talks about things like every time you contract with anybody, you should have an attorney review it. Anytime there's a dispute with either a, a customer or an employee or another business owner, you want to get your attorney involved. Anytime you're hiring employees, you want an attorney involved. So there's a lot of times in your business as a business owner that you'll need an attorney that you can rely on and you don't want to be establishing that relationship when you're going through those tough times you want to have somebody that you trust already that can build that rapport so incorporating at the outset of your business is a great time to basically vet attorneys and find someone that can uh, that you can work with and that you can trust so those are the five reasons to work with an attorney. I'll review them one more time. So ensuring that you're selecting the most cost-effective and proper corporate entity, maintaining corporate formalities, uh, ensuring that you're registered with the proper government agencies, advising you on tax issues, uh, and filing the necessary paperwork to get those uh, tax savings accomplished, and building a relationship for your future business needs. So if you have any questions, you can contact our office at 630-324-6666. Uh, my name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and I handle most of our business work personally. Um, you can also uh, check out learn-about-law.com uh, for more articles on, uh, on business law or any other area of law we practice, which is most of them. We also have a lot of podcasts and video blogs, uh, plenty of content for you to learn about law. And Learn About Law is meant, like this episode, to be for the layperson breaking down legal issues. So there's a lot you can learn there. Thanks for listening.